Oh man. You remember the original Alan Wake? So good. Love that fucking game. Merc Nightmare. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Let me switch this over. There we go. Cool. I already went to options and fucked with all that shit, so we can just go right into the story mode here. Start new story. Normal or nightmare? Normal or nightmare? Fuck, we go nightmare. Bobcat, what up, though? Chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Ooh, Bobcat, Shabazz, Vans That Crash, what up, though? Uh, man, man, this game here is pretty much, uh... Huh. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, this game is pretty much, uh, this guy here, what you're looking at right now, this is Alan Wake. Okay. Alan Wake is basically a writer. Well, as far as the original story goes, he's a writer, and he basically wrote himself into... He was writing the story. It was basically about himself. That's basically all it is. Now, this DLC, I don't know exactly the direction where they where they took, the, where they took it to, but uh, that's basically all it is in a nutshell. So we'll see how this game is, because I don't know, really. All right, let's see what we got. So we got ourselves a little flashlight here. That's good. Cool. Alright. Alright. I, I can do that. Do some flashlight. Move the beams out the way. And now I have no fucking batteries. This is really good. Ooh. Alright, so, uh. Oh, got me a pistol. Good shit. Hey there, fella. How you doing? Ooh. Oh, yeah, Alan. We, we've been on this road before. Shit. Shit! Oh! Oh yeah, we didn't been down this road before, Alan. Alright. I basically forgot how to dodge and shit, cause uh... Now... Another life, the man was a writer. 
He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Ooh, manuscript pages provide insight into the story. They also use the unlock weapon cases. You can read them with F5. Okay. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Thanks, guy, with that motherfucker host. Don't appreciate you much, man. Oh, oh shit. Alright. See, we, uh. We just see, don't see nothing. Oh, we don't have enough pistol ammo to reload anything. Alright. So, what we got back here? If there's anything. No, we like to explore and shit. Exploring is the shit, bruh. Gotta find stuff, man. Alright. So basically, this, I mean, he still does his little writing thing, but apparently he doesn't do enough the motel anymore. From safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Han dude, what up, though? Ah. Uh. <laughs> no, he wasn't, Banner Man. Hmm. Somewhere within the earth. Space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Ooh, it's a bunch of y'all motherfuckers, huh? I don't have a lot of ammo. Sometimes running away is the best option. Brightly lit areas can provide a safe haven from enemies. Okay. He said nothing, bruh. Let's go. I got it. I got it. I got it. We spreading. We spreading. We moving. Let's see if I can make it down there to that, uh, to that hotel or motel or whatever. Ooh, what you got up here? Alan. I see his endurance is still shit. Ooh, what we got here? We got ourselves a shotgun. Alan, please. No! Alan, hurry! The safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. Good shit. I like that. I can pull, push those motherfuckers back too, didn't I? Real good. Investigate the garage. Unlock weapon, weapon craze by finding hidden manuscript pages and blast your enemies with serious firepower. That's good shit. Oh, I need three manuscript pages, huh? So I need to find some more, per pretty much. Alright. Let's save our shotgun ammo, shall we? Look at this big motherfucker. There's a bunch of these guys out here. Where'd he go? I need to find more manuscript pages and shit. Alright, let's see what we may be able to find. I see something blinking over there too. I can't go in there. Can't go in there either. Before we go investigate any garages and shit. What is that way over there? Ooh. We got some flare stuff, people. Alright. We got some flares. You can toss a handheld flare or flash or flashbang grenade. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. How do I switch between the two? You're not telling me all the good stuff I need to know, game. That ain't cool. I see that flying up there. I also see something back there, too. Looks like there's a Taken standing back there. Let's 
Let me head on up over here. I see some. I see something in the distance over there. That wasn't a taken over there. How do I switch shoulders? Girl on Dute, what up, though? Ooh. To change reality, you nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. Ah, good shit. So basically, we're putting together a puzzle. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, so the garage is over there, right? Ooh, just another manuscript page. Looks like. Let's go back there. This is what it looks like anyway. I'm not really sure. So I saw a door here. Let me see. Nope. Can't go in there. That's not a main script page. It's a fucking TV. God damn it, game. Tricking me like that. What the hell? Okay. Ooh. Is this more flares? Yes. The more the better, bruh. We need that. What this is? Oh hell, this isn't gonna be good. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. Ah, that's more like it. This is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell bent on ruining your life? <sighs> You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. <sighs> <laughs> Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, I made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. <laughs> So I take it that that is the Mr. Scratch. Is that who that is? Was that who that was? Welcome back, Banner Man. I was quick. Ooh. Wait, what am I? Oh, I thought I saw something back there. Could be tripping though. All right. Let me see if I can get in some of these doors here. to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time, you know. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. There's some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Yeah, hey. Hello. Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. 
<laughs> I mean, you guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> you only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you call it old? <laughs> now, your last album was 1978, In the Valley of My Shadow. And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old Gods, Fat Bob Balder, passed away in... Leukemia! Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? They went for it. Now, Barry, you were a literary agent before this, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared under mysterious... Yeah, 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 that's... Uh, hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new old gods single. Stay tuned, folks. Well, at least Barry landed on his feet. Damn, Barry done moved on, didn't he? She said, fuck Alan. <laughs> yep, biotechnology, what up, though? I can't go in none of these fucking doors, can I? Shit. Everything's locked around this bit. Can't do nothing. Alright. I still see that fucking thing floating around up there. Ah, okay. Um, I have checked around here. Still can't get that. Where's the fat guy? We just heard him. We just heard him on the radio just now. Hello. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. God damn, that was a lot of shit. I like that. I can't go in none of these fucking doors, can I? Shit. What's over? Oh, that's that case that I can't get, right? Who that is? Before we go in there. Fuck it, let's just go up in there. Hey, it's you. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Ooh, is that a third manuscript page? At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. Hmm... Okay. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. What, a nail gun? What? Look at this nail gun! There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? 
I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it. Because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just in that case. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. What was that you said about my aura? Oh, I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no, not as such. Yeah, okay, I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> uh, she's trying to drug me up, people, what the fuck? Uh, it's all good, though. I like this car, though, holy shit, I like that. Alright, about to eat Christmas leftovers again? Holy shit. recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design custom engineered to destroy the dark portal if he recreates the conditions of the page a great power will be unleashed submachine so gun hype got him time I went full auto you damn right let's go full auto on that ass then see I got me a submachine gun got a shotgun and I got a flare gun let go all right now uh see that's probably my pistol Let's see okay got that we good we in there let go what is this question mark up here I'm not sure exactly what this is uh, the meeting map on the top left hand corner of the screen shows your current objectives location ammo box safe havens they're also shown as uh, icons blink question marks indicate a hidden manuscript page nearby Ooh, I like that. See, that's what we need to be getting. We need to be getting some manuscript pages because apparently manuscript pages in this game, um, manuscript pages in this game help us get more weapons and shit. Rabbit high for what up, though? All right, so let's try to find this fucking manuscript page, shall we? It ain't in there. <laughs> it, is, it ain't in there. I wonder how this submachine gun spit though. That's what I want to find out. How does that bitch spit? What is that blinking over there? I see you. I see you. Come here. Mine. No. I can't get it from behind the fence. Mine. I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this. But I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind. My memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do. Even if the details elude me. Oh, welcome back, random man. Did you enjoy your chips? Hope you did, bruh. Alright. <clears throat> that question mark over there though I don't know where this other manuscript page is
motherfucker. It's got to be around this motherfucker somewhere. See, like, it's, oh, it's in there. I need to get in there. Get me in. Get me in. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to be getting up in there? Got some hot chips? Oh, shit. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to be getting in there? That's the big question right there. Or do I supposed to be coming, or do I, or do I come back to this motherfucker, or what? I don't know how this gonna go. I can't get in none of these fucking doors. What the hell? That ain't cool. Anyway, let's go do some stuff. I'm tired of feeling around with this place. You voted for me. I appreciate you much, Banner Man. Appreciate you much, bruh. All right, let's go to this one first, shall we? Let's see what this shit here got in store for me. Ah. Uh, wait. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! We got action, people. Come on! Come on! Recharge my batteries. Woo! Ooh, that submachine gonna be spin though. I like that. Got the valve. That's one thing down. Uh-huh. That submachine gun spit, bruh. God damn. I should have actually seen how that damn nail gun does. How that nail gun do though? What this down here? I see you blinking. What this is? Magnum ten manuscript pages. Oh goodness, man, we gotta get that. How many I got so far? Like four? I think I got like four. Uh... Ah, more assholes come out to play. Come on. Come on. Come on, batteries. There you go. Let's see, I see you over there. We're trying to be slick. If y'all come any closer, motherfucker, they don't matter. <laughs> that damn submachine gun be spitting, bruh. Like, for real, though. Alright. I see you blinking in here. Take that. That's two. Just one more to go. Ooh, there's another manuscript page over here some goddamn where. Is that it? Yes, it is. Some of the Taken aren't protected by the darkness like their comrades. Instead, their aversion to light is so extreme that they literally split into two when they encounter strong light. What? It leaves the two halves weaker. But of course, their strength in numbers. It's a disturbing development. The dark presence I faced two years ago was powerful. But it didn't have much in the way of imagination. Clearly, the same cannot be said of Mr. <laughs> Why does it always censor that name out? What the fuck? Um, I have not played until dawn uh yet, Banner Man, but I do have this right behind me, still wrapped in the plastic, so there will be some until dawn going on up in this motherfucker. Someday. I don't know when, but someday it is. So we'll be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested. But even if you're not, I'm still gonna play it, so it don't even matter. Ooh, another manuscript page. Holy shit. This mini map kinda points out where these motherfuckers are. The reality we take for granted is softer, more adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it, turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget, it's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. Hmm. That's good shit, Alan. I like that. Alright, so. Let's get up in this motherfucking house real quick. Or whatever this is. Oh, can't go in that way. Maybe this way. Let's do. 
What the fuck? Before we're supposed to get in here. All right, big boy. The enemy tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. Okay. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. That's fine. Arithmetic of horror. What? Yeah, you you want bullshitting? <laughs> God damn! All right, and I'm already out of submachine gun ammo. That motherfucker split in four. That was just messed up. Yeah, tell me about it, bruh. Messed up ain't the word. Let's let's change our shotgun, shall we? Let's do that. Quit shotgun some motherfuckers in the face. <gasps> what? Carbine rifle. Ooh. But I want to use my shotgun. That's everything. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. So if it tells me, I'm really going to need the extra firepower.